we need to go somewhere. We don't know quite where, but you can almost taste it. What it is, is that we, I think, are getting set to take flight into what has always been our destiny. We're special. We are not outside the plan, but we're in a loop of the plan that the rest of organic nature is not participating in. We are the hands of the planetary mind. And the technologies that we have assembled are for the purposes of the planetary mind. Surely it must sense the finite nature of the life of the planet and the star itself. We are a kind of strategy for moving energy around. Someone once said, animals are a strategy invented by plants for moving seeds around. Well, I think human beings are a strategy invented by nature for catalyzing natural process. Clearly, the whole planet is being sped up. We are preparing to depart for a dimension which can only be called the imagination. This is what culture is. 8,000 years ago, when we began to crowd into cities and build walls and define everything into grids and mandalas, that was the beginning of the excrescence of mental space. That's what we're living in. These are all ideas. This was just unorganized matter put through the mills and presses of design to create a world that reflects the world that is living on the other side of our foreheads, the world of our imagination. That a hundred years from now, the earth will be empty of people. There won't be a one, not a one. I mean, the breeze will move the grasses. Uh, we will be gone. Where? Yes, who knows? Here's hoping. We have to find the door because the place is filling up with shit. It's very simple. And there are many doors. Here's a door. Extinction. How do you like them apples? If you can't find any other door, nature will kick open that door and push you right through it. And yet, you know, we possess creativity on a scale undreamed of. We can find a way out. There's no problem. We have the technologies, the money, the resources. We have everything we need except the will. It's a mental quality lacking in us. The will to do it. The will to undertake planetary sized projects. So what is to be done? I think the answer to this is not only nothing, but considerably less than nothing. And what I mean by that is that the real solutions to our problems lie in a series of negatives. Do not believe. Ideology has poisoned this planet. Ideology is bankrupt. It's a skin game. It's a shell game. It's only for marks. It's, it, it, it is beneath your dignity as a body to get mixed up in ideology. I mean, after all, where is it writ large that talking monkeys should understand the nature of being anyway? So belief is an incredible cop-out on intellectual uh, truth-seeking because belief precludes believing in its opposite. And so this is a, a self-limitation. You become your own cop. Don't follow. Following is a, is a tasteless position to find yourself in. Pets. 
follow, vice presidents follow, and bad acts follow. So, you know, why follow? All of, all of these uh, gurus, geishas, roshis, and rishis are simply flim-flam artists. They've had thousands of years to get these cons together and run them on you. Believe me, I know, I'm a recovering Catholic. You have to fight your way free of belief and then do not follow. Do not follow. It's, a, it's an obsolete, tasteless thing and there's no human dignity in it whatsoever. Do not consume for obvious reasons and then not so obvious reasons. The obvious reasons are that the fetish for objects made of matter is wrecking the planet. If everybody on earth had what the people in the front row here have, there wouldn't be enough metal, glass, plastic and petroleum in the planet to provide that kind of lifestyle to the billions of people who now aspire. None of this stuff brings happiness anyway. What we should all do is buy antiques. Don't consume anything which hasn't already been made. It's a lot of shit that's been made. It's all over the place. I see it in Manhattan going for a bundle. Uh, if, if we, what we need to do, you see, is retool our values so that what is new is odious, tasteless, déclassé, uh, embarrassing, and not to be found in the better homes. Uh, the older things are, the better they are. Here's a 50-year-old chair, fine. Here's a 500-year-old chair, how much better? Uh, we need to cease to consume, and I'm somewhat uh, facetious in suggesting that we all become aficionados of uh, Chippendale furniture and that sort of thing. That isn't the plan either. But the endless fetishism for consumer objects is wrecking the planet. We shouldn't watch. We shouldn't watch. Watching is some kind of uh, voyeuristic, sadomasochistic peculiarity that we are permitting ourselves because we think there are too many of us to do. But I don't think this is true. I think watching is an incredibly disempowering thing. Uh, millions of people live half-awake, larval lives watching six and a half hours of TV a day. And as long as they stay in their homes, uh, you know, shopping by phone and fax, everybody is happy. But they participate not at all in the society. They're the marks and they consume. They consume the media, the entertainment, the clothes, the styles, the brands. They are the morons who are keeping this system running and I assume that largely the people here tonight are not. We're the people who grind out all this stuff. I mean I feel I do this. I write books. I produce ideas. They are grist for the marketplace. Harper and Bantam don't care what I'm saying. What they care about is how the books are selling. You know, product number 3245A sub F. How is it doing in the marketplace? Do not watch, because when you're watching, you're not at the center of things. Largely, what I'm talking about here is reclaiming experience, reclaiming experience. This is what's been taken from us. You know, you are not owned. It is not he or she or them or it that you belong to. Uh, and we have been told that we have to fit in, we have to make sense. This is not true. We are creating a world that celebrates diversity, that celebrates the uniqueness of every person. The complexification of our species is a process directly dependent 
on the complexity that we each bring to the process. The diversity that is spreading through society is a concomitant to the boundary dissolution. And I really believe that, uh, that science's inability to make sense of human beings in the world as part of nature, to make sense of art, love, hate, aspiration, fear. The failure to make sense of this is the failure to come to terms with the transcendental aspect of reality. We are the best evidence there is that something extraordinarily unusual is happening on this planet and that it's not something which will go on for millions of years.